Okay, so Roblox did a bit of a launch for Luminous 2.0, so you might have heard it or people talk about it already. So I'm going to try my best to explain what is Limited 2.0, uh, what's the difference between the old ones and the new Limited 2.0, uh, and is it worth it? And some other questions that you might ask, I'll try to answer all of them in this video here, or if you have more questions that ask below. Uh, the one thing to note is that this, is, this video is very early. I'm, I'm making this video very early on, so things might change and things I might say might be correct or might not be correct either or up to you to decide. But right now, as recording, there's only three available. And the whole point of Limits 2.0 is for UGC creators to create their own Limiteds and sell it. Apparently the rule that people say that they have they can upload one per day, um, but we don't know what other rules they have, uh, how much they could, what they could sell it for, how much they could put it for, or I don't know, what's the, what's the rule of who can do it, you know? who's ver verified, I don't know, hard to say right now. But right now, we can go over what we have in the in on the website. So right now, we have the, let's go over the glossy red baseball cap. So as a regular limited, this one has quantity, limited 2.0s have quantity, as limited U is. And when you buy one, you will get the serial number of whenever you bought that hat, basically. So this would be like 28,000, whatever you have uh, available right now that's been sold so you, you buy it you get that and that's it right but the difference is that in the old limiteds you to to sell that limited you had to wait until it's sold out but this one you don't have to wait technically here and there uh you once you buy it your hat will be pulled put on a hold now when you hover over this thing it can be put on a hold up to 30 days we don't know the time frame of that, it could be three or four days, it could be five days, but maximum at least 30 days, it could be put on hold and you can't sell it, basically. Now, what this means is that um, you can, whenever the holding period is over, you can sell it even if it has not sold out by the original price, right? So for some reason, you're able to sell the hat for 70 above 75 robux even though the best price will be the original price and here's the thing when you sell something cheaper than this it will be it will it will, it will change to that price right but if you sell selling above it it will not be 75 it'll be down here on the resellers right so you might ask a the question then who and what will buy your hat even if the best price is the original price, why would somebody buy the hat that I owe? Why, 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 what's the reason? Well, that's the question I asked myself and it's a bit confusing of who would buy it if it's not sold out already. Uh, the only answer I have, I can think of is this will, this is a numbers game. Depending on the quantity of the hat, it is a numbers game. People like to collect cool numbers, like number one, number two, number 10. 20, 50, whatever, their favorite number, people will look for that. And you can sell those numbers for a higher price and people will buy it off you for that. So uh, at the moment, that's the only reason we have is people will buy the cool numbers for more, for much more money uh, instead of just buying the original price if it's still on sale. So that's that, right? The difference is also if a limited you, uh, you can only buy the old one, you can only buy one when it's on sale and you have to wait for it to be off sale and buy multiple copies to buy multiple at after uh, of other people but with this one you can still buy it even if it's not not on sale not off sale yet so i have 12 of them you can keep buying it until you can sell it but uh, look i said this is it's weird but it's just a weird system but who knows but that is that now the other thing about lemonus 2.0 is that you can't trade them they're not tradable you see right there not tradable that's the one major differences right here is that there you cannot trade these hats I'm not saying it won't affect the trade market but it won't leave a huge impact yeah, one would hope i don't know we're just guessing here uh just because you can't trade them they, 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 they don't have that they might reduce them the value of the 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 the, wor the the worth of other limiteds might go down or value might go down but the trading part of it is not shouldn't be touched as much but i don't want to jinx it there but that's the one difference you can't trade them and you have to wait uh for it to get out of holding to sell it after for whatever reason all right um now 
why does holding exist? A holding policy. So when you buy an item, it will go on hold, depending on when you buy it, uh, up to 30 days. It doesn't have to be 30 days, but it can be 30 days. Um, why does it go on holding? Well, you can see, if you don't know, but this is for UGC rates. And you never know. A UGC creator can go rogue, upload something that is not, not saying not safe for work, right? That would be automated pretty quickly. But sometimes people might upload something that's similar to a popular Roblox limited, like a Dominus or Domino Crown or I don't know, other stuff that gets taken down basically, uh, but you get refunded, right? So this is a, a way where they can have that security measure of flagging, okay, this is shouldn't be a limited, and then they take it down and get refunded. So this is a way where you can't, that's why they, you can't resell it right away because they have this little uh, buffer between this. So this is just one way where they can hold the item and if it's against TOS, they can just remove it and refund it everybody else instead of having this huge mess, people selling it already, and but you can't, but they, it's not allowed to be on Roblox, you know what I mean? So that's this is why it exists, uh, this stuff. It, it's it's that that reason, right? So uh, that is that with the holding and stuff and differences between limiteds and the new ones and old ones. Can't trade them. Uh, you can buy multiple of them, and you have to, you have to, you can only sell you can sell them later on, pretty much. That's the big the big stuff right there for differences there. Now, the question is, is it worth it? Is it worth to buy? These limited. Well, right now it's hard to say because it's very early on on these ones here. But one of the major things to know is the time. The holding is very important to knowing when how, if you should buy these. The holding is important because if you're poor, sadly, uh, you shouldn't buy these. Now, buying a, a, like a no more limited, that's fine, right? But these ones are like investments, you know, you don't know how long it'll take. We don't know yet the average time of how long it takes until it sells, you will sell it, right? But uh, so if, you're, if you just barely can afford this one or the 1000 Robux one, uh, frankly, it's just not worth it. Uh, it's too, it's just, you, you have to wait for your be able to sell it and then you then then whatever chance you have to sell it then you sell it for robux you have to wait one more week to get your money it takes a week to get your pending robux it takes you another week so if you're poor and you're thinking you want a quick buck you're not gonna make you're not you're gonna, you're gonna be waiting a long time for your robux back so it's a very pretty risky stuff uh going for these ones for sure um we'll have to see how it uh, evolves over the weeks and stuff but uh because like there will be burnout for sure, depending on how much you have access to making limiteds. There is only so much people with Robux and money that it will start to burn out, and people will start. There will be not enough Robux to keep buying these daily, and how much people can, how much people put it, put them up. It's going to be too much, right? We don't know. The, it's it's too much unknowns right now. It's too early to tell you. Like I said, this is a very early video. There's too much unknowns, right? I would save your Robux and try to decide with your brain of what you think is worth it. This cap, too much people. It's not worth it right now. Uh, the shiny bling, it's too late now. It's, it's, it's not worth it now. Now, when I say why it's too late now, it's because there's one thing. There's going to be a meta. It's called the numbers meta, the serial number meta. It's This is where value uh, differs between each item because of the number you got it at. The lower the number, depending on the quantity, will have more value over a higher number or high, low number, cool number, or a funny number. So like, you know, like 1, 10, 100, 1 million. You know, it's a high number, but 1 million is a cool number, right? So that would have more value than 938,000, right? So that being said, there's going to be the meta of numbers. Your number game will be pretty important in value. So buying it early is good, but buying it too late and you don't get a good number, it will probably not sell as well. It just guesses here, but the meta will be number sniping and all that stuff. It's all going to be like that. I mean, is number sniping is this for a long time? But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, with is it worth it? Probably not. Uh, for most of them, uh, it'd be hard to find profit off these. Uh, I've been buying limiteds for a very long time, and these limiteds are investments. Like I said earlier, investments. Limit 2.0 or investment limiteds. 
I have been playing Roblox for a long time. I'm old and I've investment limiteds have existed for a long time on Roblox. I I buy old hats or hats that have a timer and you wouldn't know they were limited until maybe a couple of days later or never. But only recently Roblox has been making old hats limited and a lot of the old hats limited are timer limited or timer hats that I bought a long time ago and they go limited because it's an investment. I, it's like eight years ago, 10 years ago we buy these hats and then maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but there we go. These are kind of similar, but a little short term, uh, as you don't know what they're worth until after they go off the holding period. But who knows? Like you will be waiting a long time. And it's just not worth it. As some of these are not worth it. You gotta use, you gotta use your brain a little bit, but anyways, I think that's pretty much it. I think that's all the things that's important. Uh, let's go over, uh, can trade them. Uh, you can buy multiple of them. Can't sell them right away. They go on holding for security measures. You just see people make, we can make them, uh, and worth it. Give you a good number, a lucky number, then yeah, sure. Maybe it's worth it if you get a nice, good number. Other than that, I mean, like, for example, like we got the bling here. We got number 100. It has a 100K seller or owners could be, but we got number 100. This is worth more than a lot of these other ones. So there is that. Uh, Turkin with number 47. And it's already sold out already, so it's going to be worth something at least, possibly. But other than that, uh, that's limited to 2.0 right now. Things will change. Things will update. Well, it's not going to be my main content on the channel, but I'll keep watch on Discord and Twitter. I'll post some stuff if something cool pops up. But right now, uh, we're just going to have to just wait and see how things develop and uh, evolve. But I think that's pretty much it. Hopefully, I went through everything. Just, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah.